may now kiss the bride. This dark but romantic tutorial will help you adorn yourself as Emily from Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. Begin with a clean, refreshed face. To help smooth your skin, take a cool ice cube and wrap it in a table napkin. Massage your face with it until the ice cube melts. This will close your pores and refresh your face. Then apply moisturizer to soothe and prepare the skin for makeup. Cut off a small piece of glue and create an open hole on your face. Liquid latex, liquid glue, Mod Podge, or tissue dried with Mod Podge may work as well. Take a glue stick that dries clear and glue down your brows. Brushing them downwards prior allows more glue to get in between the hairs. Blue pigments will not show up as well on your face without a base, so take white aqua color, cream, or face paint and create your canvas. Add as many layers until you have a smooth white surface. Aqua color is water activated. Use a foundation brush alongside a cosmetic wedge to apply. And allow this to dry before moving on. I then took combinations of blue tinted eyeshadows and colored my face a soft blue color. Best to work from inner face to out. And please, leave the space around your eyes blank for now. Take an indigo powder and use as your shadow. First, you want to redefine your bone structure and secondly, to dramatize it and create a very hollow skeletal face. Use your actual skull curves as guides. Shadow the borders of your face too in your temples. Can you see the slight 3D illusion this has created? Now that you have contoured and shadowed your face, complement this action by highlighting key points. This will be down your nose ridge, under your eyebrows, under your eyes, and your cupid's bow. This will help your face have dimension again as well. Eyelid primer drastically helps your eye makeup last much longer. You don't want your eyeshadows to slide off as you layer them. Start off with the same corpse blue shadow that you used to contour your face. Apply to your lids and bring a bit under the eye. Remember, you want to color into your hollows. Give your eyes more pop and dimension, take a shimmery light silvery blue creamy shadow and apply it to the center of your eyelid. See how this creates a bit of dimension? Then take a much deeper blue eyeshadow with a pointed crease brush, create that sunken and circular hollow about the eyes. Emily's eyes are large and circular, that is the illusion we are trying to create. Take your darkest black eyeliner and apply all around the eyes and your waterline as well. You want darkly rimmed eyes. To soften the eyeliner and really darken your eyes, take a thin eyeshadow liner brush and black eyeshadow and smolder out the eyeliner. Using a pointed crease brush or finger, get some black eyeshadow into your hollow. This adds an extra amount of depth.
take your midnight blue color again and apply more under the eyes. You want to complete dark circle around your eyes, but use your natural eye socket hollows for more realism. Take your most precise black liquid liner and draw on some thick animated eyelashes. For the top lashes, start drawing where there is darkness in the crease. And allow the liquids to dry. Now take some pointy false eyelashes and a thin strip of lash glue. Wait at least 30 seconds for the glue to set then gently press onto your eyelid. Curl your new eyelashes then apply black mascara to bond the two and to darken your real eyelashes in case they got white or light blue pigment on them. The glue hole you apply to your face should be somewhat dry now. Do not continue unless it is. Color it with the same blue eyeshadows and add a dot of black in the center to create the illusion of depth. Emily has a bit of dirt on her forehead, so you may add this too as well. Using a black pencil liner, liquid liner, or whatever method you are most comfortable with, draw on Emily's signature upturned eyebrows. And make sure to grab out your second eyebrow so that they are somewhat even and horizontally aligned. Feel free to take black eyeshadow and an eyeshadow liner brush to set the pigment of your new eyebrows. Now clean off your lips with a wet cloth before continuing. Take a natural colored or pink lip liner and draw a defined line around your lips. I then took some soft shell pink lipstick and applied inside the lines. Rub your lips together then bite a tissue to get off the excess. This gets off the oils from the lipstick and extra pigment. The magenta lipstick I am applying on the borders works with the other softer pink to create a more dimensional appearance. Reline afterwards with the same lip liner. You do want neatly defined lips. Extra contouring if you need it. I used a greyish blue loose powder and a blush brush to add some extra contouring onto my cheeks and around the border of my face. With all these pigments and powders, you want to put a bit of time into helping it last. I chose to use a makeup fixing spray. Keep your eyes closed for a bit, even after spraying. Now accessorize yourself into a bride. A wedding ring. A veil. And a butterfly charm. At last, your look is complete. appear as a dark, haunting, but beautiful bride. Where are you going?